Hey everyone, Josh here. So I do a lot of design work in Excel. Uh, a lot of that is trying to make Excel look a little bit less like Excel. And I'm kind of amazed how few people have been exposed to some of the visual design tools that are available in Excel. It's actually got a pretty robust set of visual design tools that allow you to use Excel to do things that you might not expect. So one of the examples uh, I've been using lately is this infographic I put together. This combines some of the data capabilities of Excel. For example, this sunburst chart right here in the middle and this little geo chart, along with just some basic visual design, these little card layouts that I put together, which are all built using a pretty simple set of features. So those features you see up here, uh, and this is under the insert tab in Excel, you have things like shapes, icons, the ability to insert pictures, obviously your uh, your charts that you can insert up here as well and when you combine those things together you can make pretty complex visual designs almost anything that you could make if you were building something in powerpoint or developing a website so let me give you an example here to show how this breaks down so here's a card example all this is is an image this is a rectangle with an image as the fill as uh, one of the options when you had a rectangle in excel you could fill it with an image some text a little icon there's a nice free icon set in excel and then a couple of rectangles that are in the background one is a big rectangle another's a little rectangle with a gradient fill which creates a shadow put them together you get a nice little card and duplicate those cards link them up to my chart and all of a sudden i've got this big beautiful uh, infographic that's built entirely in excel let me show you another example. This is from my dashboard toolkit that I uh, sell on my website. If you want a copy, you can get it. I'll put a link, but no pressure. Um, so this is all just built using standard Excel. No plugins or anything, no custom coding. Uh, it uses a lot of the same principles I just showed you. We've got these card layouts, right? These are just rectangles with metrics layered on top of the page, image fills. I've used a background pattern image here to give it a little bit of texture in the background. Um, and all of these built-in charts. I've done some slightly fancy work here on these charts. These aren't uh, out of the box in terms of um, how you, you, you can't take uh, your normally structured data to create these charts. You have to do some fancy little tricks, which I explain in here, but you can create all these charts using no plugins and nothing special. It's just about structuring your data properly. Nothing fancy there. And I style my charts. And that's a big part of what I do is making sure that my charts aren't using default color palettes. They actually use a custom color palette that matches my backgrounds. And that's a kind of simple thing you can do in Excel to make it look a lot more customized, a lot more clean and make it feel a little bit more um, like it matches your brand or your style guide that your company has. Just starting to not use the default palettes and starting to dial in your colors a little bit to match more cleanly. The other one I always say is always align everything. So if you look at these charts here, you notice, for example, these two pieces on the top are the same width as the piece beneath them. And then if we look at the height of this element and this element combined, it's the same height as this element. So I'm kind of using like a grid layout with cards layered on top. So I call it a card layout. That's the term I use for it. And when you use that card layout, you start to organize things in a clean way. It does two things. One, it's more visually appealing because things are organized. But the second big factor is that this kind of card layout forces you to think about the sequence with which somebody views your data. So how much information do I put in each section? How deep do I go within each section? How much information is necessary for somebody to understand the point that each card is trying to make? And that's the beginnings of starting to kind of use data storytelling or building a narrative with your data. Um, anyway, the big point here is Excel has a lot more features than people realize for visual design. And if you get in there and practice a little bit, you can do a lot more than you might expect. One of the easiest ways to learn this is to just go in, grab an existing dashboard and start to pull it apart so you understand how it was built. Deconstruct it a little bit, look at each piece, figure out the styling. And if you want to do that, you can do it with this toolkit. I have an, I'll have a link to it below, or I have a newsletter where I, where I send out free smaller templates each month so that people can try it themselves. Anyway, thanks so much. I'll uh, be posting more about this in the future. Talk to you soon.